Well, qualifiers in the book here at the 18th IC Off-Road Euros. We have two of the great and the good from the world of RC to talk about it. Coming up now. <laughs> Well, for our roundup of Friday's qualifying action, I'm joined by uh, our old friend, Phil. He's at every event, Mort's from Neo Buggy, and uh, a new uh, pundit. We've gone right at the top with Mark Pervadis from AK. Mark, I'm going to start with a general question because you should know about this. It's all about tyres, isn't it? When it comes down to uh, what connects the car to the to the track surface, it's really tires. So there's there's a lot going on there, and, and a lot of the companies are working hard to, to bring their product to the top. But of course, more I mean that you're having to chase the surface the whole time. You know, it's been damp, very wet, and now it's drying out slowly. Forecast is completely undecided for tomorrow at the moment. I mean, big challenge for you guys. Yeah, I mean, we have two tires that work really well in these conditions, and then it comes down to it's really three compounds: our super soft compound, soft or medium like conditions like we're seeing right now. Thanks, Mark. Now, Phil, um, generally we've seen a, a, a real mismatch, mismatch, sorry, of, of qualifying. We've had four different TQ guys. Jerome, who was unstoppable yesterday, has looked off pace. How do you read the day? I think uh, I think you have to look at the track. The track's changed a lot, even since it's been drying, even since this morning's rain. I think the most impressive so far is definitely Marcel Guska, just getting you know 11 laps in there. It's just a fantastic result. But you know, I think some of the pros like Yannick and Renault, I think they're holding back a little bit in reserve for for Saturday. I mean, they're both experienced guys, so let's see. Well, as I said, it was Jerome Igon in pole. Let's uh, see how happy the Frenchman was to take this uh, top honour. Yeah, th thank you for your congrats. But it's my first time at uh, I did TQ in in Europe Championship. I'm very happy, but now it's not important. More important tomorrow. It's the main. I I prefer win, but TQ. <laughs> You were very, very quick yesterday with two top qualifiers in the round, but today not so good. Was that the track or were you trying something different with your car? I've tried something something on my car, uh, some different setup, different eye compound and design. I, I, I did some, some tests for tomorrow. Is there anybody who's particularly impressed you? Like, hopefully someone not running your tires, you know? <laughs> no, I, I think like uh, Phil said, um, you know, uh, I forget his name, but Marcus. running for Marcus, running for Mugen. I mean, a clear standout. Like, he he's really impressed a lot of people, and I think even probably himself to run with the top guys. And uh, but that's what the Euros is all about. You know, a lot of people step up and and uh, you know bring their racing just one more step up than what they would normally do. And you know, this is the best of the best. Well, let's hear a, uh, a quick word from uh, from Marcus. See if he's as pleased as we all with him. Yes, uh, it was my first European. The qualifying was very good, and I look so. You seem to find a, a very good setup with your car very quickly. Is that because you have experience this track, or you just were lucky? Yeah, my car was very good and easy to handle. The new RB tires. Very good. Phil, it's a fact that in 31 runnings, so far we've not had a British winner, um, but we could have a chance this time. Uh, Darren Bloomfield, TQ1 run, and was looking on pace to get that in that final round as well. Yeah, he was on pace. I think uh, generally the outlook for the Brits is pretty positive so far in qualifying. I mean, they excelled in Q1 in the rain, but just generally the, the, the positive results have continued throughout the qualifying. So I think he could be looking at a, a British podium for sure. Well, we had a chat with uh, Darren after qualifying, and he certainly seems like he may well be the one to break that 31-year duck. It's terrible to say. Can you do it? I think so. I think so. I wouldn't like to say now, but I feel comfortable. I feel personally like I've had the pace all the way through. Although I've only had one TQ and a second, I think the rounds where I was 6th and 7th and 8th or something like that, there was a couple of minor differences. I had a servo going one, the radio tray broken another. So I think I've had the pace for the last couple of days. It hasn't just been a sharp snap of luck. So it's definitely a chance. We'll just have to see what happens. So coming on to race, we have two semi-finals and a final. I mean, this is the thing, I'm, a, I'm an electric racer, Mark, and it, it always worries me. How do you approach a semi-final where you have everything to lose and really very little to gain? Yeah, I mean, with the semis being so important and all the drivers being extremely fast, it's it's the it's all really about the first few laps of the race because uh, you know really everyone can run the same lap times. It's all about getting out clean, and and then and then manage the race from there on out. 
Uh, okay, so Phil, as always, you know what happens now? I'm going to ask you for a prediction. Who's going to be lifting that trophy in uh, 27 hours' time? That's a real toughie. Uh, I, I'd sort of like to see Marcel Gusk take it, but uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Savoia, to be honest. It's uh, just an uh, outside favourite, I think. Uh, I'm not going to let you off, Mark. I'm going to go back to you. So, so where, 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 um, where do you think we're going to see? Will, will, will we an AK man bringing back the trophy? I mean, uh, that's what we all come here. We all work hard for, you know, one of our guys to do well. Um, there, there's, to put me on the spot and say one guy's going to, one guy's going to go. I mean, if you look at the last round, the last few rounds, not the same guy is going fast every time. So to really put your thumb on it and say that guy's going to be the clear winner, can't we can't do it but uh i mean if you look at consistency overall jerome has been fast for us uh darren bloomfield from the uk has a great chance and uh was really strong i think that's what's great about the field that that's here at the euros is that it's so deep you know it's not just a few people thanks mark well i would like to say absolutely now that I don't care who wins it as long as they got a British passport. Um, <laughs> well, to find out who does actually win, please obviously tune back to Effort WS tomorrow afternoon where we have more people discussing what I expect is going to be an absolutely fantastic day of racing here in Sand. And we have no idea where it's going to go. So if it rains, it'll be one for the British again. Come back tomorrow on Effort.WS.